Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Natalie Caitlin and my channel name is The Stylish Man. I post medicine, productivity and lifestyle videos. Today I'm catering for medical students with a new series that will run over my channel over the next couple of weeks. In this series I'll be sharing books, resources and everything you need for your clinical years. I've divided this into a series of five videos. Books and resources you need for internal medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology and finally um, a combination of books and resources you need for just your clinical years in general. So the purpose of this series is basically to share all the useful books, resources and guides that you will find very useful and that will make your life easier in medicine as you go through your clinical years, which is basically the time that you do medicine, surgery, peds and ops and gynae. I trust that you'll find these videos very useful and that you will share with your classmates, friends, family and everyone you know who's studying medicine so that it can make their lives easier in medicine too. If you missed the previous video, do find the link up here. I will leave the link at the end of the video as well and I will also leave it linked in the description box. In today's video, I will be sharing books and resources that you will find useful in your surgical rotation. Surgery is where you'll do urology, orthopedics, and all those other exciting courses. And so the books that I found useful and still use for surgery are Bailey and Love's Short Practice of Surgery. This is a book that most um, professors, doctors, surgeons, um, and people in medicine will recommend for surgery. It has all the information that you need. It explains it in a simple way and it's not boring to read like other textbooks out there. The next book that I recommend is Bras' Introduction to the Symptoms and Signs of Surgical Disease. This is a very detailed book and um, if you're not a person who particularly enjoys reading, you will find this one hard to read. And I don't use it as much as I use my other textbooks, but I do um, go to it from time to time. And then the next book, which also happens to be my favorite, favorite, favorite textbook for surgery is Manipal's Manual of Surgery. This is a book, is, this is an Indian book, I think, and it's got everything you need to know. Let me tell you, this book is detailed. It's easy to understand. It's got diagrams, pictures, tables, um, summaries. It also even gives you um, like ways to master information. Like you know how some books will have mnemonics and like little um, summaries and little pearls of wisdom to help you remember things. This has that. And so I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get yourself Manipal's Manual of Surgery. It also has questions at the end of each chapter to help you revise, recall, and um, see kind of how you learned the topic. The next textbook is Sebastian's Textbook of Surgery. This also has a lot of information, very detailed, not as um, summarized and simple to understand as Manipal and uh, Bailey's but it is quite a good textbook and then the last textbook that I use for like just surgery in general is Schwartz principles of surgery this has all the information that you'll need it's easy to understand it's somewhat like a Harrison's but um, not as like detailed and hard to understand and then the next two books are for orthopedic surgery and I just thought I'd add these to my um, to the series because they were really helpful and the first one is Ortho notes, clinical exam pocket guide. This was really helpful for my orthopedic rotation. And the next one is soap for orthopedics. So do check those two out if you're um, gonna do your orthopedic rotation. And so these are the books that I used for my surgery rotation. Um, they are less than the ones that I've used for internal medicine, but I found that with surgery, if you have like a few good books, then you don't really need to look elsewhere. For example, I use mostly my Manipal and then Bailey's. And if I can't find the information in those two, then I know I'll definitely find it in Stabistance and Schwartz. So I basically uh, just need those four. And then the uh, resources and books I use for revision, like as in multiple choice books, question books, test books, are as follows. first one that I will talk about is Lang's question and answer for surgery. Just like the one for internal medicine, this one also has a range of questions from simple to a little more complicated, but it's easy to use, easy to understand, easy to follow. And one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, test books for surgery is MCQs and EMQs for surgery. This has MCQs and EMQs for surgery. 
<laughs> um, so you basically just have a wide range of questions, um, multiple choice questions and case based questions that will help you revise your um, surgical knowledge and test yourself how you studied your surgery. Mm -hmm. Next book is pre-test surgery. Um, I already talked about the pre-test series and how I like them for all my clinical subjects so I also use the pre-test surgery book. Well, single best answers in surgery is a good book if you're a person who struggles to answer single choice questions. Usually when you have exams you have the single choice um, questions, um, you have your multiple choice questions, you have terms, you have short answer questions, long answer questions and case analysis. People usually find those other things easier but tend to struggle with the single choice questions because there's a lot of answers to choose from and sometimes and typically in medicine the answers are very similar so you struggle to choose one but with this book you get to revise and review and um, you get used to answering single choice questions. Deja Review of Surgery is a book that I also use just like the one for internal medicine I find this one useful because it has the simple questions and then it has the more complicated ones and then the most complicated ones and it, build, it builds up like that so it's a good book to have if you're on the go just reading, reading revising and not particularly um, you know looking to do like detailed cases and stuff. Surgical Recall is also quite a good book to use to revise and test yourself to see if you've mastered your knowledge in surgery and just see what you recall just like the book says Surgical Recall. And then the next uh, test book or revision guide that I'll talk about is Pulse of Wisdom Surgery. If you don't have it do get your hands on it. And then the last book um, that I like to use for revision and surgery is clinical cases uncovered surgery. So this has clinical cases and you get to analyze them and test yourself and quiz yourself and see how well you've mastered the case from the diagnosis to the treatment, um, uh, the procedures to be done and all that. So these are the books and resources that test books and guides and everything that I use for my surgery rotation. I hope that you guys found this video useful. I hope that this will help you and make your life in medicine easier, especially for your surgery rotation. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know which books are your favorite. Um, let me know which ones you're yet to try. Please share this video with your classmates, your friends, your families. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next one. If you missed the previous one, do find the link linked in the description box and at the end of this video. And I will see you in my next one.